Welcome to RTC's Medical Preparatory Eyewitness News. I am Tashana Douglas. In current news today, a whopping 3,200 teenagers in ages 13 through 19 have died in motor vehicle crashes. This is 53% of motor vehicle crashes that occur on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. This has led us to want to take action and prepare our kids for safety. Parents, let's not forget to tell our kids to buckle their seat belts, pay attention to mirrors, and never drink and drive. And now to you, Israel. Our top story today, Ice Context. We're going to our street reporter, Chantel Sanchez. In today's news, students from RTC Medical Preparatory are studying the importance about ice and how it can be helpful to you in an accident or in case of losing your phone. Here's Naya Flowers now with the presentation of ice. Good morning, class. Today we'll be learning about ice. Does anyone know what ICE stands for? Yes, Giselle. In case of emergency? Correct. ICE is a program that enables first responders, such as hospital personnel, to contact the next owner of the mobile phone. Today, we'll be learning how to set up an ICE contact. First, pull out your phone. Go to Contacts. Go under Groups. And under groups, you may add people like your mother, father, whomever you may like. Once you add those people, save them under ICE or emergency contact. And then you save your changes, and that is how you set up your ICE. And there you have it. Make sure to have at least one ICE contact in your phone. Reporting live from RTC Medical Preparatory High School is Chantel Sanchez. Now back to you, Tashana and Israel. Thank you, Chantel, for the information on ice. Sports and weather are up next after a quick break. I'm a teenage girl. My BFF Becky texts and says she's kissed Johnny. Well, that's a problem because I like Johnny. Now I'm emotionally compromised and whoopsies. I'm all OMG. Becky's not even hot. And if you've got cut rate insurance, you could be paying for this yourself. So get Allstate. You can save money and be better protected from mayhem like me. Dollar for dollar, nobody protects you from mayhem like Allstate. Hello, this is Julian Montahano reporting live from the Allstate All-Star Basketball Game. Mr. Tim, I'm here with MVP Tim Anderson. So tell us, after scoring 63 points in a game, what are your plans next? Well, first of all, thanks, Julian. Um, after my performance today, I plan on getting into my lovely truck, of course, fastening my seatbelt, checking my mirrors, and uh, keeping my eyes on the road. I want to, of course, avoid the use of my cell phone, which I love to use, but not in my car, of course, and because no one should be talking or texting while driving at all. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Remember to practice safe driving. This is Julian Montano reporting live from the All-State All-Star Basketball Game. Back to our studio. Thank you, Julian, for the nice segment. Now we have breaking news from our weather reporter, Crystal Cervantes. Crystal? Crystal? Are you okay? This is Crystal Cervantes reporting live from RTC Medical Prep, where it appears to be raining watermelons. I repeat, raining watermelons. We are here with scientist Ms. Mendoza. Can you explain to us this abnormal weather we are having? Well, Trial 475,956 of my anti-watermelon experiment is a success. Prepare for tasty rain, my friends. So why did you design this experiment? You see, the anti-watermelons pull watermelons to the ground at an acceleration of 32 feet per second per second. And the watermelons are very much like a human head. So the government asked me to study the impact. So what does this have to do with anything? Isn't it obvious, you simple human? The impact the watermelons are hitting the ground is the same impact the skull would receive when hitting the windshield in a car crash. <laughs> so there you had it. Prepare for a future of tasty rain. Back to you at the studio. Wow, Tashana, that's a first for me. What about you? That's a first for me, too, and extremely fascinating. Chicagoans, be careful while you're outside. There is extreme weather. We'll be back after this important message. Today I am here with RTC Med Prep students, and they are exploring the Drive Skills for Life website presented by Ford Motor Company. This website was established in 2003 by Ford Motor Company. 
the Governor's Highway Safety Association, and a panel of safety experts to teach new licensed teens the necessary skills for the safe driving beyond what they learn in standard driver's education programs. Training is conducted in both hands and on web-based curriculum, and the entire program is available at no cost. Training conductors under the Ford Driving Skills for Life program addresses both inexperienced factors as well as issues surrounding the distracted drivers. Results over the past 10 years of this effort have been outstanding. For best results, we encourage both teens and parents to incur engage in the instruction together. So Mr. Bocar, what do you like about the Ford Driving Skills for Life website? I just really appreciate that it's giving a real life driving experience as opposed to just trying to go as fast as possible. You actually have to obey real traffic laws, which I've never had to do in a video game, which I really appreciate. But it's also giving you guys real life experience with driving and what it's really like before you have to actually take the road. So I really like it. Jai Hao, what's your favorite thing about the Ford Driving Skills for Life website? Um, my favorite thing is like, uh, even though this is a game, but you still have to follow the rule of the world. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Erica. What do you like most about the Ford Driving Skills for Life website? I like the experience that it gives me in driving, so when I get on the road, I know what to do. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that much. was a very informative commercial about team safety driving. And remember, teens, to always look both ways when driving, to turn off your cell phones, and to drive safely. This concludes RTC's Eyewitness News. And remember, please return on Monday.